Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Sonic Yoda from Sega Driven back with more Sonic Amateur Games Expo 2018 coverage. In this video we're taking a look at Sonic Eternal and quite a generous little demo this is. Um, so yeah, you get quite a lot of stages, you get um, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy and Shadow as playable characters, all with different abilities. Uh, some implemented better than others, let's put it that way. Um, I decided to play Shadow with this, but I have played as the other characters as well. Uh, Sonic he has your standard Insta Shield. Uh, Tails can fly, so Knuckles can glide. Amy doesn't uh, jump into a ball, so you have to use a separate attack button with a hammer to allow you to attack things. And Knuckles has a few things. He has a homing attack, he can boost, and he can also wall jump. Now, um, the boosting and the wall jumping is implemented quite well. The homing attack, not so much. You'll often notice that the homing attack icon, uh, the target reticule, uh, will appear above enemies and when you try and homing attack you'll sort of get locked above it um, and you have to sort of boost to get out of that but it often sends you off careening into bits of the scenery where you're not supposed to be and it's, it's, it's not very well implemented unfortunately. Which is a shame because everything else is quite well done. The uh, physics, the momentum, all there plays very much like a traditional 16-bit Sonic game which is great. It looks fantastic. Um, there's, a, there's a sort of melding of different tile sets from different stages to make something that looks quite unique. There's some custom artwork in here as well, but most of it is sort of drawn from other games. Some of it a little bit too wholesale. There's a stage that looks very much like Knuckles Chaotix, um, mainly because most of the graphics have been taken from Knuckles Chaotix. But um, on, on the whole, most of the stages look quite nice. Like I say, a nice melding of different styles. Uh, using tile sets from different Sonic games and seeing how well they work together and to some general success there. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. Uh, there's some good stage design, um, generally keeps a good flow, keeps you moving forward. Um, there's some odd stuff in there because I think they haven't really changed the stages to suit each character's abilities, which means some sometimes with certain characters it feels a bit soft in the start. The more traditional characters that just sort of jump and don't use a boost or homing attack um, play a lot better because the stages are better, uh, better structured to those styles of gameplay. Whereas I think Shadow definitely, it always feels like you want to go faster with Shadow because you've got all these abilities that are made for speed um, and you know going really really fast like a sort of cycle, like a Sonic Rush game instead of a traditional 16-bit Sonic game. Um, so yeah, it does feel like it's fighting against that ever so slightly because, well, the stages aren't designed to support that um, ability set as as well as the others. But it's it's a minor complaint. It's a minor complaint. There isn't too much here that you haven't really done before. That's the only thing I'd really say for this is that it, it, if you if you like 16-bit Sonic, you're going to like this because it does that well enough for it to be enjoyable. But it doesn't really do much else. It hasn't got a lot of gimmicks of its own. Um, it hasn't got a visual style of its own. Uh, the, it, it doesn't sound like a unique game. It, it's it's a it, it's a bizarre one. If there was a little bit more custom work going on here, in regards to the things I've just listed, I think it would it would stand out a lot more. But at the moment, it's very much going to get sort of lost amongst the other stuff. It's not that it's doing it badly at all. It's not that it's doing it particularly great either, though. It's very much by the books, but serviceable it's it's fun if you like this style of 16-bit sonic game then you're gonna enjoy this uh, if you're looking for something a little bit different looking for some extra ideas something a little bit unique you're not really gonna find it here which is a shame because like i say i think it's quite a pretty game i think it's a well programmed um little thing the physics and momentum are spot on um, and like I say, I do think some of the stages look really good as well. Um, there is, like I say, some custom work. It's not all just drawn from different tile sets from different games, but you will notice a lot of familiar artwork in a lot of these stages, and that's a, just 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 a bit of a slight against it, because otherwise it would have looked really unique. Um, but hopefully that comes in a future release. It, there may be a case where later on we get to see some more custom artwork and maybe a few more original gimmicks and abilities but um, at the moment perfectly serviceable little game this but um, that's as much as I can say for it if you like 16-bit Sonic you're gonna like Sonic Eternal but don't expect anything special from it 